Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModRx.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my HTC Droid DNA. This is the Ultimate Kangbang ROM. This is version 1.1.0. Yesterday it was updated to 1.2.0 and there were a few things added from this ROM. So those things that were added, uh, just a few little things. Liapoda's Music Box version 4 was ported. Uh, more battery clock options including Jelly Bean Blue and no battery options. Uh, so there were actually some options included or some extra options included in the Aroma Installer that you won't see in this video. Uh, but you can head to the link in the description to see what all has been added to 1.2.0. So we'll head to system and about software to see what we're working with here. We're on Android version 4.1.1. I'm running UKB DNA 1.1.0 and it includes Sense 4 Plus. So this has been built on Sense 4 Plus and it's including uh, 4.1.1. So there were some custom recent apps options added to display gesture button. So whenever you press this, it's going to show your recent apps. Advanced power menu has been included, so if we press and hold the power button, we have some extra options in our power menu. We can restart, power off, we can go to recovery or bootloader, and then in the 1.2.0 version, we can actually hot boot. So if you wanted to reboot without going through the boot animation and all, you could just choose hot boot, and that'll actually reboot the entire system without taking that extra time to boot all the way back up through the boot animation. So another thing that is really nice about this ROM is that the persistent Wi-Fi notification has been totally removed. So right now I'm on Wi-Fi only. I have my SIM card removed. It's in my Galaxy Note 2 at the moment. But with the SIM card in, it's just going to stay on your mobile network. It's not going to pester you and ask you for uh, you to go to the Wi-Fi network, which is awesome. So another neat mod is the ability to use your volume to zoom in and zoom out. It's a really cool mod. He's also modified the Rosie launcher so that you can rotate the screen like so. So he's done some other modifications uh, to tweak battery life because we know that we're stuck with that uh, 2020 milliamp hour battery. So one of the main modifications that he did was he changed the Wi-Fi scan interval. So if you do have your Wi-Fi um, if it's turned on or whatever, it's just going to scan once every 150 seconds instead of once every 15 seconds. So there's also been lots of other tweaks and mods to help with battery life. So you should get better overall battery life with this ROM. So another thing about the Droid DNA is you have that pesky location icon that's always in your notification bar. He's totally removed that so you don't have to worry about that. Other than that, we have a very clean, stable, fast ROM with lots of options in the Aroma Installer. That's what we're going to get to here in just a second. Uh, but lots of people are getting over 9,000 on their Quadrant scores. And you can see just how quickly it goes from home back to the app drawer. The thing is just very fluid. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and install this. You'll need to be running the Clockwork Mod Recovery you're going to have issues if you try to install this with twerp. The easiest way to install Clockwork Mod Recovery would be to download the recovery image and put that in just a folder or you could keep it in your download folder, unzip it to your download folder wherever you download it on your PC. You'll open up a command prompt in that folder. You'll type fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery dot image enter and that'll flash the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, so that's just a real simple, easy way to get to Clockwork Mod Recovery. Once you're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, you want to download the ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot into Recovery, and we'll go ahead and install this. The ROM includes G-Apps, so you won't have to flash those separately. Okay, so before you install this ROM, you need to make sure that you have an insecure boot image installed. I showed you guys how to install an insecure boot image in my Mick Mick ROM review. So you can take a look at that, or I'll have a link in the description to an insecure boot image so that you can install that first. Once you have that installed, you can continue. Uh, the first thing you want to do is back up your existing ROM, your stock rooted ROM. So you go to backup and restore, and then you'll select backup. I'm going to go back. And then we will wipe data, factory reset, select that. You'll go down to yes, I'm going to go back because I have already have, I already have it installed. Then we'll go to wipe cache partition. I'm going to go back. We'll go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. And I'm going to go back. Then we'll go 
back again and install zip from SD card. We're looking for choose zip from SD card. We're looking in our download folder if you downloaded it directly to your phone for UKB DNA. It should be 1.2.0 by the time this video is uploaded. Uh, this is the Ultimate Kanebang ROM. So we'll go ahead and select that and we'll go to yes. So I forgot to mention the name of the developer. The developer is Nitsuj17. I know I mispronounced that. It's N-I-T-S-U-J-17. And he has created an awesome, awesome uh, stock stable ROM for this Droid DNA. So I know that there's going to be tons of improvement from this point in the development. So it says you're about to flash UKB and we're going to go ahead and do that. And it's telling you to go ahead and make a backup before you continue. We'll click agree and go forward. I'm going to install without wiping. We've already wiped everything. And I'm in North America. So here's where you can start to customize your ROM. This is the beauty of the Aroma installer. And I kind of wish that uh, more developers would go to this. So you can kind of have the ROM the way you want it. Because a lot of developers build ROMs the way that they want it. And sometimes there are features in there that you may not like or features that you wish you could add and so this kind of gives you the best of both worlds uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the accurate battery go next and I'm gonna go with a rotating Rosie there's several other things you can actually have uh, an extended portrait Rosie or an extended landscape Rosie uh, which just gives you more spots for your application so you'd have like a 5x6 Rosie launcher instead of just a regular 4x4 launcher so we'll go next and these are everything that you can remove so if you wanted to remove um, all the HTC apps this is your opportunity to do that and obviously we, want, we would like to remove all of the bloatware some of you guys probably like the HTC apps and that's what is so great about the aroma installers that you can choose to have as much of the HTC and you can choose to remove as much of it as you like. The installer may lock up on you. It did lock up on me there. If that happens, I just hit volume down and power until you reboot into the bootloader and then you can select recovery and try again. Now it normally won't lock up unless you're kind of going back and forth. So here uh, we can choose some extras. Um, I personally don't block ads because it's not fair to creators, but you can block ads there if those annoy the crap out of you. Like most people, you can block those there. You can have your stock HTC boot animation. Uh, you can remove the boot sound. I just kind of left this one alone. And now it's installing the ROM. This should take no more than about five minutes. And then once it is completely installed, you can reboot from Aroma and... Uh, and you'll have your ROM installed. But guys, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Click the like button if this has helped you in any way. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Droid DNA. There's uh, some people working on CyanogenMod 10 for the Droid DNA. As soon as that comes out, you guys will know about it here. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.